I've been painting for a long time and that long time doesn't seem long enough. I do feel with this current group of works that ideas have come together which have been forming for many decades. Um, and I've stumbled towards these themes um, through various windows. And I'm therefore very excited about what's happening. One, one, of, one of the things I'm excited about is, is that uh, I've begun to paint trusting in an intuitive uh, relationship to the world that I'm interested in um, and the paintings at the same time. And what it has meant is that I've allowed things to happen, which 20 years ago I would never have allowed to happen. Uh, I've left things to themselves to develop um, and um, in the way that things in nature left to themselves develop and grow. So that the works, the drawings, the collages, the paintings are free to develop in the way that they want to develop. One of the other things that excites me about this project is the chance it's given me to work with other artists, with musicians and filmmakers. A few years ago, um, I met a young filmmaker, an animator called Christina Aleppi, who uh, I really liked. I got on with terribly well straight away. Uh, and we seemed to um, speak in the same language about the essence of what I, what we both thought um, a film or a painting should be. And she did a remarkable little short animation in which she deconstructed an earlier painting and took out the rhythms and marks and uh, uh, elements of language and letter and sign from my painting and layered it up into an animated film. And she's expressed interest also in this bigger project uh, in order to begin to make film which is also multi-layered and is not just a series of static shots linked together by action, but is in fact action, is in fact uh, related to the, to the title, When Men and Mountains Meet. Rilke in his poetry also um, has many musical references in which nature is seen as something which sings. Um, nature is seen as something which dances, um, that in its animation is uh, um, profoundly vigorous and uh, from an interest in music it seemed a, a good idea to think about relating music to these themes also. I had come across uh, in recent years a band called North Atlantic Oscillation who are an electronica group of musicians whose music I think taps into the, oh, I don't know how to describe it, but the substructure of nature. You know those whistles and scrapes and sounds um, and uh, rushes of wind and um, boomings of distant thunder and 
all of those things, not in any romantic way, but um, in a very real and um, personal way, expresses the nature of nature. And it seemed a good idea to talk to them about a possible song cycle in which we brought Rilke and the sounds that they make in their music together and relate that also not just to contemporary um, forms of modern music but uh, to bring in classical musicians too perhaps and mix the lot together and see what happens. came across um, an essay by Rilke in, uh, some years ago in which he talked about this same relationship of man to nature where he said by he was walking down a lane and happened to lean against a tree and he had a deep metaphysical sensation of the tree enfolding him and engaging with him uh, and he sat with his back to the tree embraced by the tree um, until he, he felt he could no longer stand the pain of the beauty of it and it's always impressed me uh, that um, a, a man with Rilke's sensibilities could experience that and in his poetry ex express something of that and I would love to think that some of my painting and drawing might engage in that particular sense with nature. The uh, title of this experiment um, has become a quote from Blake, which is, when men and mountains meet, and the import and significance of this title is because of the age we live in and the fact that we have a problem with our relationship to nature and of course what Blake was talking about the way in which man and inanimate nature come together and one affects the other one responds to the other one gives to the other one takes from the other and since this painting project has been developing. Um, I've met up with various people who, who, as scientists, are also interested in similar things from a different point of view. I think this is terribly exciting because when you bring together scientists with a moral sense and uh, artists uh, and musicians and filmmakers uh, with a similar moral sense uh, and excitement at their relationship to the world that we live in, there's something like dynamite here, something with some real energy and passion.